Hello. Let me take you on an adventure. An adventure of Banjo Tui. Now Banjo Tui would be the second out of two. Well, not really two, but all all the games that I know of Banjo, the Banjo games are Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tui. Now Banjo Tui would be the second one or the sequel to Banjo Kazooie. Banjo is a bear and Kazooie is a bird. All right. The reason why I picked the second one to play f is because it's one I had when I was little. I never had I never had Banjo Kazooie. So I, I know the story though. There's three save files, which is great because when I was a kid, there was three kids. So I had two siblings and I always got the second file because it was Kazooie and Kazooie was my favorite. So I love Kazooie. Not so much Banjo, just Kazooie. I would show you the intro scene but I don't really want to. Is that bad that I don't want to show it to you? It's just so long. Pretty much the bad guy from the first movie, um, Grunty, she kills her Banjo's friends. Kind of weird for a children's game. Death. But he doesn't really care. He's just worried about his clothes. Alright. Well, in this game, we can do... This is like the tutorial level. We get to see it all. And what we have to do first is we have to follow him, which is uh, Grunty's minion. She, uh, during the, the intro, she left him behind, sadly. So now she's gonna, he's going to go try and find her. So to continue the story, we have to go into that cave. But for now, we're just going to learn the mechanics of the game. The guy at below, he tells you, Oh, you just picked up this item, and this is how you use it. He's like the guy who tells you about the firepower of the game and tutorial levels. Also, when you get cool things, you give them to you. He gives you the cool things, like different eggs. There are different different types of eggs in this game. Right now, we only have one. Hmm. Yeah, he's pretty much going to be showing up through the ho throughout the whole game. Now, I'm going to the top of this hill, collecting some feathers. You get to fly in this game, which is awesome. Uh, pretty much throughout the whole game, you have flying pads, and then you fly on them. Now, I'm going to fly, turn around, and try and fly inside there. Which would be... It's all broken down, because the witches used to live here, I guess. Anyway, here's Cheeto. When you... Give him pages. He unlocks stuff for you. I always love Kazooie's witty... Well, not really witty, but... I love the way she talks. She is pretty much the, the comedy of this game. The dialogue would be the comedy, I guess. She's also very selfish. Very, very selfish. Banjo! Ah, he's a bear. He sounds stupid. I hate his voice. But they're the best of friends. Well, I think so. I don't really know the background history. Mm. Now, the eggs you can shoot out of Kazooie like a gun. You can use her like a gun. Or you can shoot them out from her... How do I say this? Her bottom. You can shoot them out from her bottom. We're going to fly again and then collect our first book page. There's a lot of collecting things in this game. Oh shit, never mind. No, I don't mean to do that. Never mind. We will not collect our first page. But there's a lot of items that you can collect in this game. I just fell. I didn't want to fall. All right. 
I'm too lazy to collect all the pages, but if I run across one, I'll get it. If I know where one is, I'll get it. I wouldn't really go out of my way to get it, though, but it's not really important. I'm just playing the game. There's other things you can collect, too. And I'll be trying to get them all, but if not, then don't be judging. Now, we're going to run into our good friend, the minion guy. I don't really know his name. He's going to be pretty sad. I always imagined him crying right here because his mistress left him behind. Oh. If I press A, I can <laughs> fast forward all this dialogue. I always imagined Kazooie to be my sister since my sister is such a grammar Nazi. So Kazooie just corrected. Yeah. So he drinks potions and depending on what he drinks is what you have to do. So I'm going to figure out what I need to do. I need to pretty much hit him. He gets smaller, then he creates a force field and throws potions at you. This is a pretty easy first battle. First boss, mini boss, it's like a mini boss. But it shows you what happens. Pretty much, yeah, at the beginning. I think you have to hit him either three times. Usually that's what it is in these type of games, like in Donkey Kong or in Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. All right. Well, we killed him pretty easily. He's not really dead, though. He goes, runs off. And he's so sad. Because we hurt him. We're going to collect these because I like the sound of it collecting. I'm totally following this tire tracks. I like how the sound changes when you get on the mud. That always amused me. Off to the next area. Now in the next area is a village and it's an empty village. I would go into the houses and, and show you guys. Should I? No. They're pretty much empty. Just believe me. There's different colors, meaning different families live in here. Different colored families. And throughout the game, you have to find them. And with each house completed, you get a... A Jenga. I think it's pronounced Jenga. Jenga is like a little puzzle piece. And when you collect the puzzle pieces, you get to enter into more areas. So... One area might have a number, a curtain, like a... Oh, you need 20 puzzle pieces to enter this area. Well, when we have 20, we can enter the area. So here's the king of the village. He didn't run away. He just stayed here. And he's going to help us. I love his cute little pet. I've always wanted a pet like that. A cute little mole thingy. Or anteater. Baby anteater. So that's what we need to collect, these little puzzle pieces. This dialogue is just taking forever, isn't it?
We haven't met him yet, but we will. Because that's how we continue with the game. It freezes a little, I guess. It just did. Now we're gonna leave and continue. Now here's our first appearance of the bad guy. We'll be seeing her a lot. Every now and then it cuts into the to see her. It's pretty much telling us the plot and what happens if we don't help. Those are her two sisters, and we will see what they're talking about next time. <laughs>